My work has always been inspired and informed by a study of natural phenomena and particularly organic form. In the past, I was interested in just looking directly at things in nature and trying to understand how they grew and how they work and how they fit together. As time has gone on, I've become more and more interested in the underlying principles that determine the forms that nature produces. Sculpture for me is to do with communication. It may seem a rather clumsy way of communicating when one thinks of the very precise and articulate ways that we can talk to one another. The most obvious in words, but we now have IT, we have scientific languages and so on. But sculpture does address and cover a particular area of human experience superbly well. And for lack of a better way of describing it, that area of experience is what it's like to inhabit a physical body in a physical world. One could describe a tree to somebody who'd never seen a tree before in many, many different ways. You could make a verbal description, a color analysis, a cellular analysis, a molecular analysis, and so on. But if somebody hadn't ever experienced sitting under a tree, none of those descriptions would come anywhere near the experience of physically encountering a tree. And that, for me, is the language that one's dealing with when one's making sculpture. One of the things I really enjoy and find important about the process of carving is in a sense that it emphasises the fact that the work is a kind of metaphor. It's not presenting phenomena undigested. It's a question of looking at the world, feeling things about the world, and it goes through the filter of one's emotions and then reappears as a work of art. And partly the fact that the things I'm making with the Kilkenny limestone kind of imply that they've grown from the inside outwards. But of course, in fact, they're made in exactly the opposite way. And it's rather like if you think of a pebble and a potato, they actually end up looking rather similar shapes. But in fact, one has grown from pressure from the inside, the potato, and the other has come about through erosion from the outside. And I, I really like that idea. And of course, in the two new Kilkenny pieces, they really represent a vocabulary, two aspects of a vocabulary that I've developed over very, very many years. One is a kind of quintessential archetypal fruit, and the other is a sort of archetypal coiled form, much more of a bodily kind of form, within a sort of taut, almost like a membrane. It implies that these coils are within a sort of yolk sac or a membrane, pressing from the inside, almost like a snake embryo within a sort of soft egg and uh, you know I've really enjoyed revisiting that vocabulary because I do feel having developed that vocabulary over over many decades I still have things that I want to say using those kinds of forms and it's a real pleasure to be using the Kilkenny limestone again 